for me. Welcome, everybody, to Season 8, Episode 12 of Cooking with Dan. Today, I'm going to be making French baguettes. Now, as a full and honest disclaimer, I stole this recipe off of the web by somebody who uh, actually has a lot of great recipes. His name is John Kirkwood, and all I'm doing is repeating his recipe, but I'm halving it. All the ingredients are exactly in half, so this is a test case. Let me walk this whisk over here, I don't need it. Okay, so in this bowl, I have 350 grams of strong white bread flour, King Arthur brand. I also have one quarter teaspoon of active dry yeast and three quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Again, those ingredients are exactly half of his recipe. And to that, I am adding 260 grams of water. This is a strong hydration flour. I'm gonna mix this all together. And this is the hardest part of the recipe. We have to stir this and get everything incorporated. I might need one of those little rubber spatulas to get things off the edge, but I'll get that later. And the nice thing about this, because the recipe is in half, a lot less of the flour comes out of the bowl than usual. Okay, so let's keep working this. You try to do this with a whisk, you ask? Instead of this, well, if you do this with a whisk, it'll break. An electric whisk or a mechanical whisk, it'll break it. So it just has to be fully incorporated Let's get that off of there. Did I wash my hands? Oh well. So let's keep uh, stirring and mixing. Okay, that's all coming together nicely. Ah, beautiful. Okay, it's a fairly warm day. We don't have the air conditioner running too much. So what we're gonna do is keep this, excuse me a second. You keep filming that, I'm gonna get a little rubber spatula to get it all for the spoon. There's like that. And what I'm gonna do is come back in about, we'll let this sit covered for about 45 minutes. Yeah, that looks really nice. Let's get this off the edge. This is gonna make two nice sized baguettes, enough for our muscles tonight for July 4th. Okay, so that is our dough. And now what we're gonna do is let this sit covered for 45 minutes. Let me wash my hands here. Should have had all this ready, but my sister really failed me today. Okay, so we're gonna cover this, let it rest for 45 minutes. We'll come back and we'll knead for the first of four kneads by folding and so forth. And again, I'm following John's text techniques to the T. All right, so film me later and we'll see ya. Bye now. Go. And we're back. So the dough has sat for 45 minutes. It's a little sticky. You'll see that the bench here is wet and that's because I don't want to put any flour on this. And because this is a particularly sticky dough, I just want to wet my hands and wet the bench. So the first knead is going to be different than the other three. Wetting my hands again and to knead this out like this. Now this is a fairly small piece of dough, but that's because I cut the recipe in half, but I'm taking this guy and I'm kneading it around and this is gonna work the glutens in and this knead, the first of four, will be, again, unlike any of the others. So I'm working back and forth, one direction and the other direction, one direction in the other direction, stretching it out, working it, and this is looking good. And, okay, it's starting to get a little dry here, so let's wet my hands again and we'll give it a few more tosses. Wet that, perfect. Okay, it is a little sticky.
There we go. So we're gonna put that in a bowl and put this back in the dough, uh, in the bowl, in the bowl, whatever it's called. And we're gonna let that sit. Now again, this is gonna sit for another 45 minutes. And when we do our second, third, and fourth kneading, we're gonna use the bench scraper and work it in a different direction, in a different manner. Okay. So, why don't you see me back here? It's uh, 1.50 now. Why don't you see me back in about 45 minutes, around 2.30, 2.35. Welcome back. My lovely assistant and I are here for the third rise of the dough. And as you can see, it's a little sticky still. That's good. I've wet my bench, I've wet my hands, might wet them again. One thing you don't want to do, as John says, and I found out, don't add flour at this point. Not until we form the loaves do we add the flour. So this is on our bench. And forgive me, I'm a little sweaty, but for the 45 minute rise, I had time to run down to the golf course, shoot two holes. I birdied the par four and I eagled the par three, so that's great. Okay, so I'm um, three under after nine, but more importantly, I am kneading the dough this way. Now, if you watch John's video, he's got a lot more dough because he doubled the ingredients. I have them. Okay, so we're kneading it this way with the bench scraper and we're gonna do this once more after this as well. I probably won't show you that video, but this is really forming into a nice ball. Uh, it's really coming together nicely. It's smooth, it's not terribly sticky at this stage. The yeast is in there with the salt, so it's not gonna rise a lot because the salt retards the growth of the yeast. And this looks good, so let's put this into a ball again. Hands are getting a little sticky. Okay, and that looks great. I'll wash my hands. Apron, let's cover this one more time. It's fairly warm in here, so I'm not putting the dough in an enclosed place. We have our air conditioner set at 77. 78 and it's not running. So we'll leave this here because we're going to go at least one more with that. And then after that, we'll be forming our loaves. Stay tuned. Back, dough has risen for a third time. Let's wet this bench just a little bit, not too much. Hands are nice and wet. The dough is still sticky, that's a good sign. Let's pop it out here. Now oh, we got flying. That's just great. Okay, and I'm going to knead it again, much like I did last time. And you see the technique I'm employing, just random direction, just to mix it all up. And dough's really forming nicely. So this is looking good. Let me see if I can get this out of here as well. Yeah. Don't want to waste anything. Let's put it all together. This is going to form two beautiful loads. Okay. That looks like it's about it. Let's bring it up. Put it back in here again. And that takes care of that. Let's cover this bad boy. And we're gonna go for another 45 minutes or so, and then we'll be forming our loaves and putting it to bake. So let's rest that, and we'll be back. And it's fourth rise. And we're gonna put this on the flour here, and it should have about two pieces 310 grams. Let's get some flour here. Put that on. Two seventy-three, so I need a little bit more. Two eighty-five. Two ninety-five. Still 
little sticky, which is good. Okay, 309 grams. And this should be about 310. Oh, 385, huh? Oh, well. Okay. Nice to take a bit more off here. Okay, so now let's punch this down. Let's punch this down. We're going to form our loaves. Let's get all the air bubbles out. Beautiful. Okay, let's do the same with the other one. Let's press all the air bubbles out. Got a little too much flour on the board here, but I'm not looking at it. It tastes gummy, that's why. Again, we're only making two baguettes here instead of four because we cut the recipe in half. Clean up all this flour. And we'll cover this with fresh plastic wrap. First time I wash my hands today. All right, so let's. The system was supposed to have all of this ready. And let's cover that, and that's going to rest for about 15 minutes or so. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. That's up, oh, sorry, 15 minutes. So we're going to take these guys and roll them out again, form a baguette shape. There's enough flour on here that I don't need to spray anymore. Nice rectangular piece. Okay, that's looking good. So now let's, now you know I need a little bit more flour. <clears throat> Roll these guys up, form the baguette shape, and we're going to rest them on that tea towel over there that's serving as a couche. I'm not the best at this, but these look like a good size. And they're going to rest there for another 20 minutes, so let's see if I can pick that up without. Let's cover that, and the reason we flour the towel was so that they don't stick. Yeah, these are, this one's much better than the other. Ah, oh, my gosh. I've been on this earth for 55 years, and that's one of the first mistakes I've ever made. All right, so let's roll this into a baguette as well. We'll cook at different rates, I imagine. Beautiful. Let's cover these for about 10 minutes and then we'll put the other one and start baking. See you. By taking the baguettes off of the towel with this little breadboard here that's just wrapped in foil. 
didn't do a particularly good job, but there you have it. And I got my shallots and garlic for the muscles, so let's put that aside. I have a sharp knife here, which I'm gonna score the bread with. And it's very critical that they cross over. This is looking good. Okay, that's one loaf. And let's do the other. Fantastic. Okay, so they're scored. The oven's been heating to 400. It's almost there. I got a pan of boiling water on the bottom rack. And we're going to spray the oven as well with the water. When we put them in, and we're also just spraying the top of that so it'll get nice and crisp. So, see you then. saw me water the top of the bread. The water, or the oven's just about to 400. My writer, Steve, forgot to put that in the script, so we did put that up to... Okay, it's approaching 400, it's close enough. I'm gonna put these in now, and they're gonna go for about 20, 25 minutes. We'll just watch them as they go around. So that's closed, and I'm going to spray a little bit more water into the oven. Even though we got the pan of water. When they're done, we'll make a hard knocking sound on the bottom and we'll let, them, we'll let them cool for 10, 15, 20 minutes and we'll be good to go. And the creamy old baguettes a la John Kirkwood. Thank you, John. Okay, we already cut a piece uh, from the end just to test it. And this is how it looks. A little bit of flour on the end, but this is after it's sat out from the oven for about 15, 20 minutes, so it's still warm, and we are going to enjoy this with a delicious bowl of mussels. Thank you for watching.